All right, are you one of the people that bought one of these frequency counter units from eBay? Well, I'm one of them. And on this one here, um, the air is leaking into the liquid crystal, and it's starting to get black marks in here. It's already starting to go bad. But anyway, you bought one of these, and maybe this is all you got. In my case, I cut the wire to the backlighting so I can shut it off to save battery life. But there's a connector that goes in here. Some of them give it to you. And it's got a black and red wire, and that's for the power. And then there's a, one that's wired backwards, one and two. Uh, it's a black and, re and red wire that also goes over here in a plug. Okay, and that's for the input signal. So you buy this thing, and you basically don't know what to do with it, what it does. It just You just saw what was on the head of eBay. Well, if you go through all the different vendors, you'll notice some vendors have pictures of the back of the circuit board. And it's, it's been drawn. It's not a picture. It's more of a, like she said, an illustration. Okay, and it shows you the, the, the trimmer, the two trimmer pots that are for to limit the in, input. Uh, there's a trimmer for the frequency. All right, so I'm like, where did that guy get that? So I always get uh, curious that they may have stolen this thing from some group, and then they start mass producing them. They've done that with several things. Uh, one of the things was the uh, SDR radios. They just jumped on that bandwagon on that. But anyway, this is the, the model number of this unit. PLJ0802-C. Put that in Google, and after it put in uh, schematic or uh, manual, and you'll get the manual for this thing. And it'll be very interesting to you if you're into this stuff. Uh, they show the, the amount of input this thing needs at different frequencies. Okay, it's going to open your eyes to what the module can do. And if you read the paragraphs, you notice it says in some cases, move this further away. Uh, this might require some shielding. Okay, now the one project I used for, I uh, used it for, it does work right away. But going near the regenerative radio, it goes cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Okay, so I probably have to put one of these in a, in a metal box with an attenuator dial or an attenuator knob and the whole deal just to get it to work with the regenerative. No big deal. I'm going back to the original project I was using for. Now what it, what it did for me is I hooked it to my Franklin oscillator and then I saw how much my Franklin oscillator was drifting. I was totally happy with the Franklin oscillator. But once I saw the digits on the, the uh, frequency counter moving, uh, it bothered me. So I went off on a tangent and I'm building a stabilizer for my Franklin oscillator, and it'll only do 100 kilohertz uh, sections if, unless you change the, you put a switch in it, and you have different switch positions for different frequency ranges. But anyway, this is an ongoing project. But I just happened to be sitting there, and I just got, went and looked again on on eBay or eDumpster or ePay, whatever you want to call it, and I noticed that um, someone had a schematic or a pictorial, and I'm like, where did he get that from? I know these, these Chinese vendors aren't going to draw anything. And I went looking, and then one of the vendors put this number. Again, it's PLJ-0802-C. And then you'll get the manual for this thing. And uh, it's got a block diagram on how the thing works. You'll notice that on some vendors. What they did, they, they take the manual, and they photocopy a couple pages, and they stick it up in part of the description, while other guys have a picture of the front, the back, with the, uh, the uh, battery coming off of it. But they don't give you the input uh, connector. Okay? So, uh, you know, on my project here, uh, I've, I've got shielded wire going over on that connector. Okay. I have shielded wire. Okay. And then here's my battery input. And uh, I got it working with this, with this, um, with this oscillator, and it did work before with it, but then I have to add in the uh, the stabilizer circuit. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that uh, if you bought one of these things, having the manual will help a lot. Okay, you'll see how many millivolt signal you'll need at a certain frequency to make this thing work, and you'll notice at some frequencies, um, I believe at five it needs 35 millivolts at five megacycles. Okay. And then at higher frequencies, it only needs four megas, uh, four millivolts. Okay, so you're going to say that's why one person might buy this and say, "Oh, it works great." What I'm doing, and then when you put it in it, it works 
crappy. Now for me, it works good on one project, but over there near when it gets near the regenerative radio, it goes cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Old that's an old uh, saying from uh, a commercial for uh, uh, a cereal breakfast cereal. Uh, there was a there was a bird that went cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Anyway, I think that's it. All right, that's it.